students start working in your course, you're probably going to want to check their progress. And there's a couple ways that you can do this. The first way is if you have any assignments or discussions, so activities that you want students to interact or respond to. When students submit an assignment, you'll get notifications on the right-hand side of your dashboard here in your to-do list. It's gonna tell you how many, which assignment it is, and a little snapshot summary here. You can jump right to that assignment and open up the speed grader, which is gonna allow you to see individual student assignments and give feedback and grades. So that's kind of a quick way to see student assignment submissions straight from your dashboard. The other thing you can do is you can go into a specific course. So I'm gonna go into this one and it brings me to my homepage, but what I wanna do is I wanna to go to modules. So I am on the modules page now of my course and I'm gonna to scroll to the very top. Now, one thing that you may not know is you can condense modules by using the little drop down arrow beside the module title. So once you start getting a good number of modules in your course, you may wanna do that just to make it a little easier to scroll to the current module. So from here, you can check view progress. So on the modules page, by clicking view progress, what it's gonna do is it's gonna give me a list of every student in this course, and then it's gonna tell me how far into the modules they are. It's gonna tell me if they've completed a module, or if they've just unlocked it and begun working through that module. So that's one way you can click through your courses, uh, your students, and see module progress. The other option from your homepage is to go in to the speed grader and see specific information. So again, I can jump there from my dashboard, like I mentioned in the beginning, but I can also come to a specific course and either navigate to the to-do list on the right-hand side or come over to assignments or go to modules. You can go to any of the three locations. I like to go to modules and I like to scroll to find the assignment that I wanna look at. So I'm gonna scroll down and I'm gonna click on this assignment here. This is gonna give me a preview of the assignment where I can edit it if I'd like, or I can go into SpeedGrader. By clicking SpeedGrader, you'll notice it opens in a new tab, and this is gonna allow me to navigate quickly through students and give them feedback. You're gonna notice it looks pretty similar to Google Classroom. So you're gonna notice that it's gonna look a little bit similar to Google Classroom. I can use the arrows to uh, jump between students. I can use the drop down to quickly see an orange uh, dot beside students who have submitted something. And I can jump to specific students. And then I can give a grade, I can view a rubric if it's attached, or I can add any assignment comments. Now, depending on what type of assignment the students have submitted, you may need to click on the link to load it in this page or view it in a new tab. Some items will automatically appear in this area here, but that's where you can see individual student progress, give them grades and give them feedback that is private just between you and that student. So hopefully between those three methods, you can kind of see and track your students as they progress through your modules and your course. Thank you.